What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, Just Symphony, but you can call me Symphony. How y'all doing? In this video today, I am going to be showing you guys a few Middle Eastern perfumes that I purchased. Now, I'm a perfume girl, okay? I'm a perfume girl, all right? And I really like my fragrances. I have a whole collection. And, you know, I've been seeing, like, these Middle Eastern perfumes, like, just all over TikTok, okay? Just popping up all on my TikTok. You know, the girlies are talking. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give it a try because I love a good fragrance. And, you know, let me smell something new. You know, see what's different. You know, see what's out there. So I started to pick up a few, and I got six fragrances, okay? All blind purchases. I only went by what I heard about them. Never smelled them before until I received them in the mail. I just, you know, I'm here to give you the review. I'm not gonna waste time talking, we'll get straight into this video. Okay, first things first, and y'all, I got my notes here, so just kind of bear with me, because I had to write about this. I, you know, I had to make sure I said what I had to say. So if you see me kind of referring to this, that's what that is. So first things first, we're going to start with the first Middle Eastern fragrance, and this one is called Latafa Ajwad. Y'all, look at her. Look at this. I'm just going to show you guys the bottle so you can just get a look at this. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, the colors, the bottle itself is very nice. The back of the bottle is just gold. You know, more of like a wood grain top, which is nice. as little, you know, doesn't make it too gaudy. It has a little toned down to it. This is by the brand Latafa, and the fragrance is called Ajwad. And this is a two ounce bottle. Mm. This fragrance reminds me, I know this scent. I can't put my finger on it right now, but I know this scent. I, it just has a very familiar scent, okay? I almost think this fragrance is a dupe for something, but I'm not sure, okay? I don't know off the top of my head. If I do find out this is a dupe for something, I'll let y'all know, because it definitely smells like it could be inspired by another fragrance, another popular fragrance. But this fragrance, y'all, this smells like money, okay? This smells like mature. It just smells grown woman. <laughs> That's just how I'm describing it. See me, you know, the type of fragrances I typically go for, I like floral, fruity, powdery type scents. You know, soft, light, fresh, powdery type scents. You know, I'm young, y'all. That's just, I like this. I like the sweet scents. And it's just a preference now. But I know some people probably aren't as crazy about sweet scents. This is for my ladies who like more of a toned down this okay it has a little floral a little sweet but then a little musk to it at the same time you know gives you a little mm. so this fragrance opens with top notes of bergamot lemon and pineapple base notes of musk vanilla amber which gives the fragrance that warm sensual smell which it definitely has okay definitely has this the heart of the fragrance features floral notes of jasmine rose orris which adds a feminine touch to the scent this, I would definitely say that is true. This scent, when you smell it, it has a slight floral, slightly musky, a little bit of a spice to it, you know. It's Middle Eastern, has a little bit of a spice to it. I do not smell vanilla, I just don't. But that vanilla and the amber and the musk definitely gives it that warm smell. I don't really smell vanilla, but I smell, I get, I get the sense of it, okay? And it definitely has a very warm, sensual smell, especially when you put it on the body, y'all. This fragrance, I would say, is like a date night fragrance. You know, you about to go out on the night with your boo or, you know, out with your girls. Yeah. Like, you know, it just has a very grown woman appeal, very warm, a little sensual, slightly floral. Like, you know, it's good. It's good. We love this. We like this. Okay. And it took me a minute to warm up to it. Because, again, I like fruity, sweet, powdery. You know, that little giddy, girly type scents. But I think this scent really opens to a broader range of people. Okay. Because everybody doesn't like the powdery, fruity type of scents. This scent is pretty strong. I would say that. When, like, when you first smell it, it will light up the room. I'm not lying. You only need two squirts of this maybe three I'm, i go a little overboard with the um, spraying but two at the most maybe three like it lights up the room it's very strong good longevity i think you can get a good eight hours out of this for sure so that's not bad and then just like the projection of this like i said it'll light up the room projection is a uh, seven out of ten i would say it's kind of up there it's a seven out of ten this is money okay this smells like money get this for your date night 
okay get this for your boo get this for a girl's night out this is that and maybe if you want to you know maybe get this like if you want to go to church and you know show out on the church ladies a little bit this is the scent. the church ladies gonna be asking you what you're wearing this is it right here <laughs> So this next fragrance I'm excited to show you guys because this is up my alley. This is up my alley, y'all. So my next fragrance is called Choco Musk. And this is what the bottle looks like, you guys. So nice little view, little looky look. This is what the bottle looks like. Very nice bottle, very simple, glass, like, you know, very simple. Now this fragrance is called Choco Musk by I'll Rehab. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, y'all know, you know I'm a little country. <laughs> the TikTok girlies have been raving and ranting about this one here. This is this is a cookie, a sugar cookie in a bottle. I'm not lying. Sweet, powdery, chocolate, vanilla fragrance is what this is. It smells like yeah, I'm not lying. It smells like a sugar cookie. Or you know those sugar cookies that you get from Walmart that come with the frosting on top? You know, like this big comes with the frosting and some sprinkles and it's just a basic plain sugar cookie. That's what it smells like to me. And it smells just like it. This fragrance, I was like, uh, at first, you know, people saying how it smells just like chocolate. It smells just like chocolate. I give them with the vanilla, but whatever. I can smell both, though. I can see why they say either or. But I was like, hmm. I was like, I don't know if I want to walk around smelling like a cookie. I'm like, I was like, I don't know. That would be kind of cute. You know, just for like a, you know, after the shower, you spray it on, smell like vanilla, like a cookie. Like, you know what I mean? So I picked it up so that could be like my after shower fragrance. And y'all, it did not disappoint. The ladies were right. This fragrance is everything. I mean, it's just sweet. It's vanilla. It's chocolate. I mean, you smell like a freshly baked cookie. Like, it smells so nice. Now, one thing I will say about this, I've noticed, because I've used it quite a few times, because, you know, your girl had the mm 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 it's not that strong. Like when you smell it in a bottle, it smells great. You spray it on the body, just spray it. It comes off, when you first spray it, it comes out. It smells great. It smells great. You know, but then once it kind of settles on the body, it, it is, it's not as strong anymore. You know, it, it, can be, it can come off a little light on the body. Now, they were saying that they have a Choco Musk perfume oil. They're saying that the oil is super super strong so it lasts a long time so i would recommend and i ordered the oil by the way so it should be i don't know if it's shipped yet but i did order it so i should be getting that in the next couple days so i'm gonna try the oil and the fragrance i think they were saying like the oil is stronger so if you do the oil first and then the fragrance you get better longevity with this okay so i would say this will last you a good four to five hours on the body it not that long at all because it lasts longer on your clothes than it does your body so just fyi like, you can come back to your clothes smelling, it still smells like cookie. On the body, no. You know, you get four or five hours max. I'm just going to be honest. So, with the perfume oil and then the fragrance, I'll see if that makes a difference. The projection of this is okay. I would give it like a four or five, four or five out of ten. But overall, this perfume, from a scale of one to ten overall, I would give this a but the smell the fragrance itself like just the way it smells it gets a 10 because i mean they got this damn packed it smells just like a sugar cookie so i'll update you guys later once i get the, the choco musk oil and then try it with the perfume and let you know how that goes so the next fragrance that i have is Le adventure by el harmane excuse my pronunciation i'm gonna have i'm gonna have everything right here so you can just read it for yourself so this is what the bottle looks like a beautiful bottle very just simple elegant love the gold kind of give a little modern touch now this fragrance you guys they actually say this fragrance is inspired by similar to dupe like scent for creed adventist by her so that was another reason i picked this up because i just had to see you know what this was hitting on like if the, you know if this is true or not this fragrance is different this is definitely a unisex fragrance okay and to me it's giving more masculine you know cologne i mean you know if you like wearing cologne it's fine because i mean i like cologne i would wear it if i really liked it enough but this to me this is very giving masculine it definitely gives me more um a cologne for him scent but it's a really nice scent nonetheless this bottle is a 3.3 ounce bottle the top notes are elemi lemon and bergamot middle notes are jasmine lily of the valley and a woody note and i definitely get that woody note in here 
base notes are patchouli, amber, and musk. I don't know, like, I can see why a lady would like this scent, you know, I want to wear it. You can definitely, a lady could definitely wear this. But I can also see a man wearing this. Like, I can, de this smells like a cologne, you know. And it's not that I don't like it, but I'm not into the too musky of scents and things like that, you know. I'm just not. I like a little bit of musk, but I don't like it where it's too strong of a musk and wood, woody note. And this is definitely that. I can smell like some slight floral scents in it slightly. You know, it definitely has that. So it gives us a little, a little bit of a sweet touch, a little softness to it. It, it does give that. But this smells very high end, y'all. I do like this a lot. Now, you know, I tried it for myself. I do like it, but a little too masking for me. But this is really a preference. This, you, this fragrance, and it says on the description that it's unisex, so it can go either or. So if you like this scent, ladies, definitely buy it, get it. If it's a little too masculine for you, this is a good purchase for your man or your boo or your husband or whoever, you know, for a guy. You know, for my purpose and just me, mm, it's just a little too masculine for me, so I gave it to Jalen, my boyfriend, so, you know, he got a new cologne. This is very strong. When you first smell it, it will light up a room, okay? Like I said with the other, it, this will light up a room too. It's very strong, has strong pr projection. And you can get some good wear out of this. Like, you can get a solid eight hours out of this for sure. Like, it smells really good. Especially on your clothes. It'll last even longer on your clothes. Projection, I would give it about an eight out of ten. Like I said, it will light up a room when you smell it. You do not need a, to spray a lot. You just need just a little here. Just hit the hot points. You'll be good to go. But, yes, this is a good scent nonetheless. So, I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit. Because I, I heard the mixed reviews about some people saying it's a little too masculine for them. So, I just wanted to try it and just see... You know, just mix it up a little bit for my ladies who might, you know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody likes what they like. You think this is something you would like? Just give it a shot. I'm telling you it's good. It's a nice scent. So, yes. So this next fragrance is a by the brand Latafa again, okay? And you know that I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest, Latafa makes some good stuff. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but like I said, I'm gonna have it here. Gorgeous bottle. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. Oh my gosh. So this is a 3.4 ounce bottle okay in this um fragrance the top notes are bergamot raspberry apple and black birch middle notes you get jasmine patchouli rose floral and a slight woody scent okay for the middle note and then it just has some base note of vanilla oak moss and like a rich musk but honestly this fragrance to me even though it's not listed in the ingredients it has a coconut smell to me well, I don't even know. It may not even be coconut. It just has a very fresh scent. Like, it's just fresh, almost like soap is what it kind of smells like to me. It smells like soap or like laundry detergent. I don't know. I got a little piece of paper here. Because to me, it gives me mix. Like, sometimes I feel like I smell coconut, but then it gives me a little bit more of like a fresh soapy smell. I'm going to say this. It has a, a light, very light coconutty smell. Um... Slightly soapy, you know, like, you know, just fresh, like some just soap, you know, fresh soap, tropical, sweet kind of scent. Like it's tropical, it's sweet, it's slightly coconutty, fresh, you know, smells slightly soapy. Like, I don't know. It's just like a mixture of things, but it smells so nice. And it has just a little bit of spice to it too. Like it has a little hint of spice. I can smell that in this fragrance also. Like, you know, to me, um, this smells, you know, it's giving me vibes of like vacation coconut tropical the beach you know sweet pina colada like it kind of gives me that nice summer scent really nice you know nice vacation scent and then like the little hint of spice in here really gives it more of a mature scent you know a mature vibe to it where it's not too kiddish or you know too girly too sweet and stuff it kind of adds a little no, just a little maturity to it, to me. To me. You know, it's not like you go buy, a, you know, like a Bath and Body Works scent. It's, it's not giving that type of sweet. It's giving a little more grown woman perfume. So this has good longevity. You can give it like a good eight hours out of this type of wear. You know, it'll last all day. It definitely last through your whole work shift. Like you spray it on before you go to work. Come back, you know. It'll last. Good longevity. Projection is pretty good too. I would give it like a six out of ten projection. So this is a nice scent. 
you know, if you're looking for a nice summer scent, I would definitely pick this up, okay? This is definitely giving summer, spring, you know, vacation, hottie, you know, type of scent, okay? <laughs> a really good buy. You wouldn't go wrong with this. So, you looking for your next vacation scent, y'all, this is the one. So, our next fragrance is by the brand Meta Bossom, I believe. I'm just going to have everything, like, right here because I can't really, pr I'm not sure how the pronunciation is, okay? I'm sorry, y'all. I'll work on it next time. Um, and this fragrance is called Delilah. Like, I mean, the bottle, I mean, the bottle tells all. Just from looking at the bottle, like, what do you think this is going to smell like? The bottle tells it all. So just from looking at the bottle, you might can assume this is going to be more of like a fresh feminine scent. And you are correct, it is. <laughs> this is definitely more of a fresh feminine light scent, okay? In this scent, it definitely opens with a citrus smell. It has notes of rose, osmantha, sandalwood, pink pepper, and patchouli, okay? Because like I said, this scent is light, so. And I can smell it in the bottle, but, you know, I just want to give it a little more help. Really get the full. Mm. Very light scent. It's light. It's refreshing. It's feminine. It slightly has a slight little spice to it. Slightly spiced. I can definitely smell that pink pepper in there. Gives it, you know, a slight bit of a kick, but it's kind of nice, though. It's not too over. It's not too spicy. It's not too pungent. This is another scent I would say is good for like after the shower or if you kind of one of those people who work a job like, you know, if you work in the hospital like you're a nurse or something and you can't wear fragrances or really strong fragrances, you know, you kind of need something more toned down. This is a good fragrance for that. One thing about this is it's not super long lasting. Longevity for this scent, you can get about, yeah, I'm being honest, I'm gonna say five hours at the most. I mean, like I said, it's a real light scent too, so you come back a little later and smell it, you, you know, smell like whatever your body, and you don't smell it anymore. As far as projection, again, like a four out of 10, like it's very light, so you, it doesn't really overpower the room. You know, overall, I like it though. Overall, I like it. The scent itself for me gets a solid, Six out of ten, maybe it's like six and a half out of ten. Okay, for the scent itself, so it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Well, you know, very feminine touch. You know, need something soft and girly. You know, this is nice. So we are down to our last fragrance. This is what the bottle looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I will say one thing. This bottle came with like a little bow tied around the top, but the bow was like broken when I received it, so it just fell completely off. But whatever. Really nice bottle. This is the top, really nice, yes, nice. So this one is by Bent Horan, right here at the top. So the ingredients top notes are cypress, lemon, tangerine, sage, and bergamot. Middle notes is giving nutmeg, geranium, saffron, blue, lotus, lily of the um, valley and cinnamon and then the base notes in here you know it's musk slightly tobacco um, amber sandalwood and like cedar okay so you can kind of get an idea of the mixture in this fragrance and what it's kind of going to smell like but do not let the base notes fool you with the musk and tobacco because yeah mm -hmm, and the cedar wood don't let it fool you because it's not as strong as what you think it might be with that with those in there this fragrance is light. It surprised me when I first tried it because I wasn't expecting this to be as light of a fragrance as it is. It's light, it's soft, it's slightly sweet. It has a little bit of a must to it, but nothing real strong at all. I'm gonna tell you, when I smelled this, and it didn't hit me when I first smelled it, it kinda had a familiar scent to me, but it hit me when I first smelled it. But then when I started kinda, you know, hearing what the girlies had to say, I, I smelled it then. This fragrance is a is what the girlies are saying, and I see what they're talking about. I do see what they're talking about. Is a is inspired by, similar to dupe like, for Carolina Herrera, good girl. And y'all, I'm they not lying. I see the similarity. Okay, and it's similar. And I have the uh, good girl perfume, and this is very similar. Like, and it's soft, and it's, it's, oh my gosh, yes. It's a good one. You know, so one thing, you know, it's light, it has longevity, slightly sweet, fresh, with little 
small notes, small notes of musk, okay? So just so it doesn't give you too light and you know, sweet and stuff. It gives you a little bit of a you know of a punch. You know what I mean? But not a bad punch. It gives you a little bit of a punch. This is a really nice everyday fragrance. Work, going out, on a date, vacation, grocery store. This is a nice everyday fragrance, okay? You know, you want to hit up the mall or something, go shopping. This is a nice little fragrance going out to eat. This is nice, okay? I think, you know, it's not too sweet, so a lot of people will like that. It's a light scent, so it's not too overpowering. It's not too pungent. And it's just, it's just really nice. I know longevity, since it is a very light scent, I'm going to give it like five to six hours longevity. Not super great, but it ain't terrible. Um, as far as projection, like I said, it is a light scent. And I would give it like a 5 out of 10. But yeah, like I've been wearing this, y'all, and it's nice. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. It's a good, like, a Valentine's Day. You know, this kind of reminds me of, like, Valentine's Day. It's a nice, soft, sweet Valentine's Day perfume. You wouldn't go wrong with this. And the bottle is super pretty. Now, like I said, when I got this, my ribbon had fell off. My ribbon was broke on my bottle. I don't know what that was about. But the ribbon on the bottle was a nice touch, too. It makes it look a little more girly. But, you know, I still like the bottle nonetheless. All right, you guys, that is it for my Middle Eastern fragrances. That is all I have. I'm not gonna lie. I like every fragrance that I purchase. I really do. But I feel like I really ordered a nice variety of fragrances. You know, depending on what your preference is and kind of fragrances you like, you wouldn't go wrong with any one of these. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description box. So try it out, purchase it. If you like these or this type of video, you know, like talking about fragrances, let me know because I can definitely do, you know, more fragrance videos and not even just on Middle Eastern fragrances. I have a whole fragrance collection over there and just show you what's in my collection and just talk about what I like and what you guys might be interested in. So I can definitely do that. So yeah, just let me know, y'all. But thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, you guys, okay? Spread the love, share it, and let's talk about it, all right? I hope to see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon.